America's favorite pastimes. Of course, things weren't always as they are today. Have you ever wondered about the origins of the American football? If you have, you are not alone. They were made from the leather of pigs, right? After all, it is referred to as the pigskin. That common theory may be untrue, but it does bring us closer to the information we see. You see, it was from pigs that the first footballs were made. It was made, however, from the inflated bladders of these animals, and not from their leather. Why pig bladders, you may ask? Well, since footballs were being made prior to the invention of rubber, pig bladders were perfect for the job. They were durable and could be inflated to an almost round shape. The pig bladders would then be encased in leather to make them even more durable. Into our journey enters a man by the name of Charles Goodyear. And yes, this is who you're thinking of. In 1844, Charles invents vulcanized rubber. This would spark an advancement closer to the footballs we're familiar with today. Inflating a pig bladder isn't the most pleasant process in the world after all, and because of this, once rubber was invented, it was the go-to choice for footballs. After some time, leather was wrapped around these balls as well to increase their durability. It is now that our journey down the road of how the Wilson footballs we know today is complete. And since the creation of the NFL in 1941, Wilson's The Duke Football has been the only ball ever used by the sport.